Last Night in Soho is a 2021 British psychological horror film directed by Edgar Wright and CO written by Wright and Christy Wilson Cairns. It stars Thomas and Mackenzie, Anya Taylor-Joy, Matt Smith, Rita Tushingham, Michael Ajayo, Terence Stamp and Diana Rigg. It marks the final film appearances of Rigg and Margaret Nolan, who both died in 2020. The film is dedicated to the memories of Rigg and Nolan. It premiered at the 78th Venice International Film Festival on September 4, 2021, had its UK premiere on October 9, 2021 at the BFI London Film Festival, and was theatrically released in the UK and the US on October 29, 2021 by Universal Pictures and Focus Features, respectively. It received generally positive reviews from critics, who praised its production design, cinematography, costume design, direction, and performances, while its writing received some criticism. Despite this, the film performed poorly at the box office, grossing $23 million worldwide on a budget of $43 million, the COVID-19 pandemic was still suppressing total box office revenues with theaters in the United States and Canada bringing in 60% less box office revenue in 2021 than in pre-pandemic 2019. The film was nominated for two BAFTA Film Awards, including Outstanding British Film and Best Sound. Early Life Taylor Joy was born on April 16, 1996 in Miami, Florida, to Dennis Allen Taylor, OBE a former banker, and Jennifer Marina Joy, a psychologist. She has stated that her birth in Miami was a fluke, since her parents had been holidaying in the city at the time, because of her birthplace, she holds American citizenship due to the country's use solely nationality law. Her father is an Argentine of English and Scottish descent, the son of a British father and an Anglo-Argentine mother. Her mother was born in Zambia to an English diplomat father, David Joy, and a Spanish mother from Barcelona. She is the youngest of six siblings, four of whom are from her father's earlier marriage. Taylor Joy lived with her family in Buenos Aires and attended Northlands School until the age of six, when the family relocated to the Victoria area of London. She is fluent in both Spanish and English. Taylor Joy experienced the move as traumatic and refused to learn English in hopes of moving back to Argentina. She attended Hill House International Junior School and Queen's Gate School, acting in school productions. She left school at the age of 16, citing bullying from her fellow pupils as the reason, she recalled Argentina is all green and I had horses and animals everywhere. All of a sudden I was in a big city and didn't speak the language. I didn't really feel like I fit in anywhere. I was too English to be Argentine, too Argentine to be English, too American to be anything. The kids just didn't understand me in any shape or form. I used to get locked in lockers. I spent a lot of time in school crying in bathrooms. Taylor Joy initially trained in dance, studying ballet until the age of 15. Aged 17, she was scouted as a model by storm management founder Sarah Daukas, while walking her dog outside Harrods department store in Knightsbridge, London. She signed with the agency on the condition that acting was her passion and pursuit. During a modeling shoot promoting the television series Downton Abbey which she had almost rejected because she was studying for her GCSE examinations, Taylor Joy was noticed by the Downton Abbey actor Alan Leach running errands for the crew and reciting the Seamus Heaney poem digging for a forthcoming screen test. He later introduced her to his agent, with whom she signed as an actor. Career Early Work and Breakthrough Taylor Joy was removed from the final cut of her first acting role as a background feeder girl in the 2014 fantasy comedy horror Vampire Academy with her role left uncredited. She made her television debut as Philippa Collins Davidson in an episode of the detective drama series Endeavor, and followed this appearing in a multi-episode arc of the 2015 fantasy adventure drama series Atlantis. 
Her breakthrough role was in The Witch, a period horror feature film directed by Robert Eggers, which tells the story of a Puritan family that encounters forces of evil in the woods beyond their New England farm. It premiered at the 2015 Sundance Film Festival to critical acclaim, and Taylor Joy's performance was praised. Anthony Lane of The New Yorker wrote, Taylor Joy is remarkable in the role, her wide-eyed innocence entwined with a thread of cunning proof either of her quick wits, scarcely unusual in a clever and curious girl, or of some fell purpose. The film was a commercial success, and she won the Gotham Independent Film Award for Breakthrough Actor and the Empire Award for Best Female Newcomer. The following year, Taylor Joy starred in Luke Scott's science fiction horror film Morgan, playing the title character. It received negative reviews and was a commercial failure, but Booth Michigan's John Serba wrote that Taylor Joy disarms us with a performance that keenly teeter-totters between little girl innocent and dead-eyed viciousness. She next starred in the drama film Barry, which focused on a young Barack Obama during his first year at Columbia University in 1981, it premiered at the 2016 Toronto International Film Festival. The same year, Taylor Joy's likeness was licensed from Storm Management to represent the character of Valkyrie Kane on the 10th anniversary book cover of Skullduggery Pleasant, and subsequently the covers of the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 14th books in the series, before she appeared in the music video for Skrillex's remix of GDA's song Red Lips. In 2016, she was cast opposite James McAvoy in M. Night Shyamalan's Split, where she played Casey Cook a teenage girl abducted by a man with multiple personalities. It was a commercial success, grossing $278.5 million on a budget of $9 million. Her next film that year was Corey Finley's directorial debut Thoroughbreds. It CEO starred Olivia Cook and Anton Yelchin in his final film role. Taylor Joy played Lily a high school student who schemes to kill her stepfather via a contract with a drug dealer. It premiered at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival, David Ehrlich of IndieWire called her performance captivating. Her third release in 2017 was Sergio G. Sanchez's horror mystery Marrowbone, whose ensemble cast critics praised, Tasha Robinson of The Verge wrote that Taylor Joy brought a shy, appealing warmth to an inconsistent character. Taylor Joy was nominated for the BAFTA Rising Star Award and was awarded the Trophée Chopard at the Cannes Film Festival that year. In December 2017, she portrayed Petronella Oertman in the BBC One period drama miniseries The Miniaturist, based on Jesse Burton's novel of the same name. Taylor Joy reprised her role as Casey Cook in the 2019 psychological superhero film Glass, the final film in the Unbreakable Film trilogy, appearing with McAvoy, Samuel L. Jackson and Sarah Paulson. It was a commercial success, grossing $247 million worldwide, but received mixed reviews, unlike its predecessor. Later that year, she appeared in the documentary film Love, Antasha, on the life and career of her late CO star Anton Yelchin, and in Hosier's music video for his song Dinner and Diatribes. Her next two 2019 films the animated musical adventure film Playmobil, the movie and biographical drama film Radioactive were commercial failures. She also voiced the character of Brea in the Netflix animated fantasy series The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. In her final role of 2019, she played the starring role of Gina Grey in the BBC One period crime drama series Peaky Blinders. Rise to Prominence In 2020, Taylor Joy starred as Emma Woodhouse in Autumn de Wilde's directorial debut Emma an adaptation of Jane Austen's 1815 novel of the same name. Reviewing the film, Peter Traverse of Rolling Stone deemed Taylor Joy incandescent. Taylor Joy also portrayed Ilian Rasputin slash Magic, a Russian mutant and sorceress, in the superhero horror film The New Mutants. 
It was originally intended for release in April 2018 but experienced several delays. It was released in 2020. Taylor Joy starred in the Netflix miniseries The Queen's Gambit as Beth Harmon, an orphaned chess prodigy on her rise to the top of the chess world while struggling with drug and alcohol dependency. The series and her performance received widespread critical acclaim. On November 23, 2020, Netflix announced that it had been seen by 62 million households since its release, becoming its biggest scripted limited series to date. Darren Franick of Entertainment Weekly called Taylor Joy's performance darkly fascinating and noted how she excels in the quiet moments, her eyelids narrowing as she decimates an opponent, her whole body physicalizing angry desperation when the game turns against her. Similarly, Caroline Frank of Variety found her so magnetic that when she stares down the camera lens, her flinty glare threatens to cut right through it. Taylor Joy received numerous accolades for her performance, including winning a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild and a Critics' Choice Television Award. In 2020, she next appeared in the drama film Here Are the Young Men, directed by Owen Mackin and based on the novel of the same name by Rob Doyle. It wasn't released until April 2021. In 2021, she starred in Edgar Wright's psychological horror film Last Night in Soho, released in October 2021. In the film, she performs a version of the Petula Clark song, Downtown, a music video of Taylor Joy performing the song out of character in a recording studio was released to coincide with the film's release. In 2022, Taylor Joy reteamed with filmmaker Robert Eggers for a starring role in the historical epic The Northman, which was described as a Viking revenge saga set in Iceland at the turn of the 10th century. The film was released in April 2022 to a positive critical reception. Upcoming Projects Media Image The Hollywood Reporter named Taylor Joy on their list of 2016 Hollywood's Rising Stars 35 and Under and she was included in a similar list compiled by W Magazine in 2017. In 2019, she appeared on the annual Forbes 30 Under 30 list, a compilation of the brightest young entrepreneurs, innovators, and game changers in the world. In 2020, she was named Breakthrough Entertainer of the Year by the Associated Press and Breakout Star of 2020 by the New York Post. In 2021, Time magazine included Taylor Joy on its 100 Next list of emerging leaders who are shaping the future, with a tribute written by former world chess champion Garry Kasparov. She has been an ambassador for brands including Victor and Rolf, Tiffany and Co. Dior's fashion and makeup, and Jaeger La Coultra. Filmography Film Television Music Videos